Stephanie Mead. Overall, not a bad day today. Temperatures uh, above average for this time of year, hitting the upper 40s and lower 50s, and a mixture of some sun and clouds. High of 59, though, for tomorrow. So, nice day to watch some football. And temperatures will remain in the mid to upper 50s really throughout much of the work week and into the end of the work week as well. We cool off Friday into Saturday, and that's when we see some cooler air work its way through. But we also see more sun for Sunday. 44 right now in Green Bay, 45 out towards Appleton, and 46 out in Watoma. So temperatures holding on strong into the 40s. Wind speeds right now coming directly out of the south, anywhere between 5 to 10 miles per hour, which means temperatures feel a little bit cooler in the lower 40s. It feels like it's 41 in Green Bay, 45 out in Shano, and 39 down in Oshkosh. Overnight lows last night were rather cold, feeling like they were in the lower 20s. Watoma bottoming out in at 20 degrees, Oconto at 20 as well. Appleton at 25, and here in Green Bay, 24 degrees for an overnight low. Now, we won't be as cold going into tonight. Temperatures anywhere at around the mid to upper 30s, and that's normal for this time of year. Highs in the upper 40s and lower 50s. Green Bay topped out at 49 degrees, 50 out in Clintonville, and 56 in Watoma. Areas throughout the Midwest topping out in the mid to upper 60s out towards Des Moines, 57 in Chicago, and then 57 out towards uh, Minneapolis. And we'll see more of the 50s make their way into Green Bay tomorrow and into the beginning. Beginning of the work week. Mostly sunny skies for today. We did start off with plenty of sunshine and then clouds started to filter their way into the area. More in the way of sun for tomorrow and staying dry. Winds also start to diminish. So we really have a picture perfect day ending off the weekend. Right now on Precision Radar, though, not too much going on, just some high clouds passing through, staying relatively quiet. And as we widen out the view, it's quiet throughout much of the Midwest and it's all because of a high pressure system that's in place. So we'll remain quiet for Sunday. But then we have a chance of showers going into Monday, Tuesday, and really into Wednesday. So we have a wet next couple of days ahead of us. So here's precision cast for tonight, stopping at around midnight, mostly clear conditions. For tomorrow, stopping at around game time, noon, mostly sunny skies, really not a cloud in the sky throughout the day and throughout much of the game. Increase in cloud cover, showers come into our forecast Monday morning. They begin to filter out and then mostly cloudy skies throughout the day and then some scattered showers throughout the afternoon with a cold front pushing through. 36 for an overnight low tonight with mostly clear conditions, staying cool with a southwest wind between 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tomorrow, high of 59. Sunny skies, mild and staying overall nice for the Packers game. Here's our extended forecast with temperatures in the lower 50s Monday with showers pushing through. Windy both Tuesday and Wednesday with temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. Thursday, we could see a scattered shower, 53 degrees, and then we cool off into the mid to lower 40s by Friday and Saturday, but we do see mostly sunny conditions. Here's our Packers forecast for tomorrow. 48 for some tailgating kickoff time, 55 degrees, and uh, we do see mostly sunny skies by the end of the game with uh, highs almost near 60 degrees. So a great day to go out and watch some football, Holly. Yeah, not bad at all. Looks good for tomorrow. Yeah. All right, thanks, Stephanie. Well, for a reluctant reader, reading aloud can be traumatic.